In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google form using your phone. So let's get started. The first thing you have to do is go to your browser and then make sure that you've signed in with your Google account. So as you can see on the top right, I've signed in with this Google account. And once you've done that, you have to search for forms.google.com. So this is what you have to search for. And this will take us to the page from which we can create a form. So the first thing that you should do is give a title to this form. So as you can see, untitled form is written here. So I'll just click on it. And now I can give any title which I want to. So now I've given this name. And if you want to add a description, you can do that as well. So now we can start adding questions to this form. As you can see, there's already one question over here that they've added by default. And to change it, just click on it. Here, you can type in the question. So I can just write name. And as you can see, this changed to short answer. So this is the type of response that we expect from the person filling in the form. So if you click on it, you will see all the different options. So we can have a short answer paragraph, multiple choice, a checkbox. They have many options. But since we're only asking for the name, we can just keep it short answer. And most of the times, when you enter the question, Google will understand and then change the type of response automatically. So once this is done, we can decide if we want to keep the question required. So to do this, just enable this option over here. So this means that a person must fill in this question and only then they can submit this form. Now I'll quickly show you how to add a few more questions. To do this, click on the plus button that's at the bottom left. And the same way, we can type in the question over here. So now if I want to ask, are you above 18? I can just type that in. And as you can see, it automatically changed to multiple choice. And they've also given suggestions like yes, no, maybe. So for now, if I click on yes, as you can see, it got added. I can do the same thing for no. So this question has two options, yes and no. And again, we can make this required by enabling this option. Now I'll quickly add one more. So again, click on the plus button. For this, I'll ask for comments. So the type of response will change to paragraph. And as you can see, it has. So the same way, you can keep adding questions to your form. And now I'll show you some things that you can do to the questions. So if you click on the three dots with each question, these are the options which you have. You can duplicate the question or delete it. So let's say I don't want comments. I can just click on remove. And now it's gone. Then we can also rearrange the questions. As you can see, there are six dots on top of the question. So if I just long press on that, now I can drag the question. And as you can see, it's come on top. So this is the first question. And if you scroll down, the name is the second one. So once you've done this, your questions should be ready. And the next thing we have to do is share the form with others. But before we do that, it's good to just have a quick preview of your form. So to do this, click on the three dots that are over here, and then click on preview, which is the first option. So it's taken us to a new tab. And this is how the form will look to someone filling it in. The title has come on top. And then these are the two questions. So if you feel your form is good, then you can also make some changes to the theme and color of the form. For that, click on the first icon on top, which is the palette. And here they have many options. You can change the text style. You can add a header image or change the color, the background color. So you can go through this and then click on apply. So once this is done and you like your form, then to share it, you have to click on this button, which is to share. And here, there are many methods to share it. First is via email. So you can just enter the email addresses of everyone who you want to share the form to. This is one method. Then the other way is by sharing the form as a link. For this, click on the second button that's here. Then they've given us this URL, which we can just copy. So now I can copy this and then just send this to others. And when they click on this, they'll reach our form. Then they also have other methods like via Facebook or Twitter. So you can go through that. So once we've shared the form with others and gotten responses, there's only one thing left to do, and that's see the responses on your phone. Again, it's really simple. As you can see on top, there's a page called responses. And if you click on that, all your responses come over here. 
and they have three methods to see the responses. First is a summary. So this will have a lot of charts and diagrams with which you get an understanding of what people have picked. Then second is question. So here, you can just select the question and then see the responses which you got for that question. And the last one is individual. So here you can see how each person filled in the form. There's also one more thing that you can do and that's link the form to a Google Sheet. So this is really simple. Just click on this green button that's here. After that, select create a new spreadsheet and then click on create. Then select your account and click on OK. And as you can see, the responses have come in this sheet. And the good part about this is that every time someone fills in the form, it will automatically get added to this sheet. So this is basically how it works. And if you want to know some cool Google form settings, you can check out this video over here. That's it for today. Goodbye.